blossoming into a badass woman with more faith than fear. Hey guys, thank you for tuning in this week to this week's episode. My name is Monica Morgan, and I'm so excited to have you guys here. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about my business, uh, my entrepreneurial journey into my business, and what that looked like and what that feels like. We're going to talk about the Pivotal Companies. You can see more about us online at thepivotalcompanies.com. We are a one-stop shop for management and marketing consulting. We primarily serve uh, owners and investors or third-party management companies that are in the student housing realm. Um, we deal with multifamily conventional housing as well as military housing. And so, you know, I wanted to spend this episode talking about being an entrepreneur and chasing your dreams and what that looks like and, you know, how it went for me. And so I want to back it up just a little bit to um, my career and my departure from corporate America. And then I want to talk about, you know, what we did and, and taking that leap of faith and really putting ourselves out there to become badass women to really, really um, instill faith over fear in our goals to reach, you know, success. And so with that being said, um, my one of my partners at uh, work, her name is Samantha Hampton, um, she and I took the leap of faith and left corporate America in August of 2018. And we call those the dark days because we were at first really worried about, you know, where was our next paycheck going to come from and how are we going to have health insurance and afford it? And, you know, all those things that come with the security of having a corporate America job. And in entrepreneurship, that's all on you. You're, you're responsible for your paycheck and you're responsible for your insurance and you're responsible for finding all of those things. And so we took that leap of faith at the end of August. We signed our first major contract within two days of launching our business. And we went through about what we call the 30 days of darkness. <laughs> and that's why we really revved up our business and secured contracts that could pay for our salaries and for our insurance and all of those other things that are super important. Um, with that being said, we, we really took off. We, we signed our first client right away. In 2019, we hit the ground running. And when I say we hit the ground running, I mean we took off. And we didn't stop. Think Forrest Gump running across the U.S., never stopping. That was us. And, you know, when I dialed things back at the end of 2019 and I was able to really slow down enough and focus on my financials and really dive into what happened over the past year while I was running around the U.S., um, I was quite surprised to learn that I had sold $1.2 million in sales revenue to, in services to clients. And for me, that was really eye-opening and very encouraging and very positive. As you know, a business owner, you don't think of your first year as your most uh, scary, um, and most businesses fail within their first year. Um, for me, that wasn't the case. Um, 2020, I had my team teed up for success. I had everybody situated and a uh, plan mapped out, and we were ready to go. And there was nothing going to stop us taking over the world in 2020, except for the pandemic. <laughs> so much like all of the other business owners and, you know, most of the people in America had issues during the pandemic with, you know, the ability to mobilize. And especially in the industry I predominantly serve, which is the student housing sector, you know, campus, campuses closed down. Um, nobody was really sure if we were going to be on offline, in-person learning, and what that looked like. And so with that being said, you know, there was a lot of ebbs and flows in 2020, and our trajectory did not look anything like we had envisioned. It didn't have the, you know, the same ability that we had had in the prior year um, to market, advertise, and sell. And so we were highly impacted to the tune of about a half million dollars in 2020 of loss. And we were, you know, really trying hard in our, our feathers and wings to really push uh, digitally our services. And, you know, probably most entrepreneurs and business owners during this time of, during this pandemic time that we've all been through, probably had a lot of moments of, you know, oh my gosh, how do I convert? How do I manage in this new environment? And what does that look like? And how does it feel? And what's best served? And so, you know, I personally, 
I've joined a lot of different groups um, of women groups where I can talk to other entrepreneurs and business owners and really learn from their experiences. And that's one of the things I hope people get out of out of this show is, you know, here are experiences that are real and live and actually happened. And here's how we either, you know, achieved her getting over that hurdle or achieved success beyond that. Um, you know, I will say I push my team and myself every day. I'm not a quitter. I'm a very sore loser. <laughs> and so with that being said, you know, it's, it's challenging to be an entrepreneur in the, in the world today. It's challenging to have the faith over the fear to put yourself out there and really hope that the people that you've embraced and supported in your lifetime and your career really pay that back and really support you. And so, you know, I've been blessed with a ton of great mentors in my career and a ton of great leaders um, that I really look to still today, regardless of where I'm at in my business and my journey. And so for the Pivotal Companies, um, it was actually four businesses that were started in 2018. Um, I noticed there was a niche in my industry that was best suited to be served by someone that came from within the industry. And so not having people that were vendors to provide services to me as a person in the industry, I knew where the holes were that needed to be filled. And so I went after those holes one by one and started the businesses. So in 2020, which hindsight for me really is 2020, um, we really looked at, you know, what services were profitable and what we're going to make the most money on and what is really driving our business. And what I would say to any entrepreneur pushing out and wanting to take that leap is, A, do it. You won't regret it. B, show up for yourself every day. But also to not... Um, you know, the services and, and offerings that you think you want to offer might actually not be what you end up doing. Because for me, as I mentioned earlier, in the first two days of owning my business, I signed a major contract and it was to do something that I never thought I would be asked to do. It wasn't anything bad or negative. It was just, I hadn't thought of it. And so with that being said, you know, you've got to be open-minded. You've got to, if you can find a niche and you can find um, your services and skill set to serve that niche, then you're golden. And that's really what, you know, being an entrepreneur, I say to my team a lot is I'm the risk taker. You know, I'm the person who's going to put myself out there. I'm the one who's going to, you know, throw the spaghetti at the wall to see if it sticks. And if it doesn't, I'm going to try a different noodle. So, <laughs> um, or cook it some more, which would be the logical thing. But with that said, I think, you know, the, the, the pivotal companies has poised itself to become more of a household name we converted in 2020 all four of the businesses I started to be a company, a, a one entity. So we brought them all in under the pivotal companies. And so while we have some segregation still within our industry, within our personal business, the pivotal companies does, really and truly we're looking to, looking to serve the uh, multifamily industry as a whole. And we do that in a variety of ways. Um, there's an entity of it, or a piece of it, I'm sorry, that is really geared towards guerrilla marketing efforts. Think boots on the ground, um, your flyer in someone's hand or your product in their hand um, on college campuses throughout the US. We do that by dorm storming um, and really you know, going to dorms and flyering or, you know, bars and having bar events and marketing events like that. So we actually set that up and make those things happen for you. And I will say in the housing industry, the biggest uh, hurdle I think most people face is getting out of the office to get the outbound marketing done. Um, I did recently create shirts that say side happens because those of us in property management know site happens. You walk in the door and you get sucked in and then it's hard to accomplish your out reach marketing efforts. So that's one leg of it. Another leg of it was digital marketing. There were no digital marketing folks in our space that came from our space. So when you look at your larger um, apartments.com and things like that, the larger industries that do serve the digital aspects of marketing for apartment communities, they don't have people that actually all came from within the student sector in particular. And the ebbs and flows within the student sector are very different than in conventional housing. So um, it really does make a difference to have people that are working with you and for you that understand the space that you're working in. Um, we also offer 
consulting services as a whole. So we do a lot of due diligences for properties or people that are looking to buy and file audits. We do call banks, um, door knocks. We do shopping, secret shops. So the Pivotal Companies really is a full one-stop shop. If I had to pick a thing that we're best at, um, I would say, and everybody probably would think this is silly, but, and it's kind of nonsense, but it's a reality is we get heads on beds. Um, and it really boils down to that. We, we work really hard with our clients to find out what has worked for them, what hasn't worked for them, what is it that they're trying to accomplish, and what are the ways that we can assist them in accomplishing those goals. Hey guys, thank you for tuning in. I really appreciate you listening this week. Next week's episode will be regarding the burning bra and my journey as an entrepreneur of a nonprofit. Look forward to seeing you then. So tune in. Take care. Hey guys, if you like this episode, please hit like and subscribe.